Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, it's wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for joining me. For this DIY of the glam looking vase, I'm going to be using these diamond gems. Now they're called diamond gems, but they don't actually look like diamond gems. They're more like rocks that you put in fish tanks or things like that. And I managed to pick up this rather nice looking fishbowl vase from a thrift store and they've put resin in the bottom so that it actually looks like water and I've taken the flowers off so that I can work on it and now I'm going to be taking all my rocks and I'm using my hot glue gun and I'm just going to be gluing them all the way around. When you're gluing on the bottom make sure that you keep checking to see that it's balancing because they are a bit spiky and they do stick out a little bit so just keep checking that as you glue around. I'm on to the second row and now I'm just going to continue and do a few more rows. These particular rocks are actually really nice because they do slot into the places quite nicely like that so you can get a nice pattern going by them all just slotting in to each other like that. And just keep going all the way around. I'm halfway around the bars and because these stones are not all the same size you're not going to get it to go exactly perfect around everywhere. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be going up like that so that it's not showing just straight lines. And then I'm going to the top on that and then I'm swapping and I'm going directly opposite and I'm going to do the same little pattern that I've done over there on this side and now I'm doing the same I've got this side done like that and now I'm going to be dividing it and going directly opposite with each one of these going up to the top so I've done the four sides like that and now I'm going to be dividing in the center here as well and putting one in the center of each of these ones but I'm not closing it off completely I'm just putting a small one in the centers of the large ones so on the large ones here I've got two rows and on the little ones I'm just using one row of stones going through so it's going two one two and just rotating so now I'm going to be putting another one just up here of just one. And now we can fill all this area in. So the reason why I've done it that way is because you're going to get a few little tiny tiny holes and when you do it in straight lines, as I said, the stones are not straight. So that's why I've tried to give it a bit of a varied pattern going all the way around. So I'm just filling in these last two, three little areas now. Now that you've got all your stones on, take some masking tape and just go over all the stones so that you can get rid of all the strands of glue otherwise it takes take forever to try and get them off individually and the masking tape just pulls them off quite nicely as you can see there is a lot I've gone all the way to the top but I don't like the fact that it's 
very very flat so I'm going to actually be taking some more of my rocks and placing them on this like that so that they can get more of a jagged top to it just put in the last stone in there and as you can see it's rounded it off a lot nicer so the top curves in and it's got a bit more of a jagged edge to it I'm going to be using these remote control press button um, lights and they're the color changing ones and there's my vase completed and it looks very very attractive and there you can change the lights according to what you would like so I'm going to put one on just so that you can see and I've just put the blue light in If you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.